All right, good evening, everyone. Welcome to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. Got my buddy Daniel Munoz. Get sitting here beside me. We're getting ready for some Region 2A basketball. The Lady Panthers are one game away, dribbling with the ball in the sweatpants, uh, away from clinching the region, the sub-region championship. They'll be allowed to host. They got two opportunities to get one win. They got it tonight. If they fail to do it tonight, they can do it Saturday night here against Lanier County, but they have to win one of them. If not, the Lady Rebels from Atkinson County will win. So that's how important the next games are. Uh, Y'all set right back. The Panthers won game one over in Turner County, 73 to 53. They played a great game at Turner, and it takes a, a great team effort to win at Turner anytime. Uh, some of the top players for Turner that night was Edwards with 18 points. She's number four and number 20. Harding had eight points. Fowler had eight points, number two. For the Panthers, the top scores were uh, Dean for 19 points and number 23, Dorsey, had 25 points. So we hope to have another good game with them tonight and the rest of the Panthers to clinch another region, sub-region title. So we're getting ready for the announcement. The coaches is up uh, talking over the referees, Coach Chase and uh, Coach Raymond. He's the head coach for uh, Turner County. Assistant coach is Coach Howard. You have uh, Coach JD and Coach Doreen that helped Chase Daniels. Panthers will be in their white uniforms. Turner will have their black uniforms on. The Titans from Ashburn, Georgia. I want to remind everybody, me and Daniel will be alive Thursday at the rec park. We're going to bring you some middle school baseball. And... Uh, We'll have a double header starting at four o'clock and probably 6.30. It depends how many innings they get in. We'll have Coach Terrence George here at halftime of the girls game talking about the boys game. And now we're getting ready for the lineup. I'm gonna chew this one fry while we listen to them. Coach Lee Douglas ain't here tonight. They're getting ready for baseball season. No, there he is. Talk about him, he'll show up. Welcome to tonight's first contest between the Turner County Lady Titans and your Clinton County Pantherettes. Your starting lineup for Turner County. Jamiri Fowler. Number three, Talia Martin. Number five, Zanasia Lawson. Number 11, Destiny Collins. And number 20, Taylor Hart. That's your starting lineup for Turner County. You have Fowler, Martin, Lawson, County. Collins, one, and Hardy. Number three, Demaria Magby. Number four, Amaria Dean. Number 10, Jalaza Riley. And number 23, Tiana Dorsey. All right, we're getting ready for some basketball. Dorsey will be jumping for the Panthers. Let's see who's going to jump for Turner. Number two will be jumping. That is Fowler. 
We'll be jumping against Dorsey. Panthers again in their white uniforms. Turner, black, trimmed in orange. score table to get dressed up. Jump, Turner will win it, but Panthers got it. Talbert with the ball. Pass to Dorsey down low. She traveled. She was trying to kick it out to Dean. Panthers will turn it over. Here come Turner now. Oh, out of bounds. They had threw it hard over to Martin, number three. She couldn't hold on to it, so she'll turn it back over. Panthers with the ball again. Tolbert will bring it into Cupcake, and here come the Panthers. Dean with the ball. Dribbling around, I throw up a 10-footer, won't go. Dorsey with the rebound, back up and in. Two to nothing, Panthers on top. Number five, bringing it down for Turner, that's Lawson. Martin with the ball. Cupcake will steal it, here come the Panthers out to Talbert. Talbert lays it up, won't go. Dorsey had it, she'll kick it back to Cupcake. Out of bounds, Panthers will keep it. Number two knocked it out of bounds, that was Fowler. Magby will bring it in, got it to Dean. To Cupcake, over to Dorsey. Dorsey, 20 footer, got it. Good shot by Dorsey. Oh, Turner didn't bring it in. They stepped across the line, so that'll be a turnover. Panthers have it right back. Magby will bring it in again. Got it to Talbert. Back to Magby. Talbert, Dorsey. Back to Talbert. She'll kick it out to Cupcake. I'll throw it up. Just inside the three-point line. Won't go, and it'll go out of bounds. Turner has the ball. Martin will bring it down for the Titans. They'll kick it over to Fowler. Back to Martin. Martin wide open under the basket was number 20, Harding. Just a little high, Harding would have had an easy layup. Panthers have it now. Magby will bring it in. Here come the Panthers. Cupcake with the ball. They got it to Dean. Dean controlled it. Good job. Got it out to Talbert. Talbert will drive in. Couldn't get it off behind the goal. Dorsey with it now. Three second violation. Panthers will turn it over. Here comes Turner County now. Mm, good save there by Turner. Fowler saved it. Got it out to Smith. Back to Fowler. Oh, good job. Lawson with the ball. She'll drive in. Can't get it to go. Dorsey had it, but stepped on the line. So Turner County will keep possession. Stevens comes in for the Panthers. Magby will take a break. Lawson bringing it in for Turner. Smith with the ball. Back to Lawson. Lawson's going to drive in, trying to get it to number 20, Harding. Panthers knock it out of bounds. Turner will keep it. Lawson brings it in to Smith. Back to Lawson. Shot clock violation. Turner will turn it over. Here come the Panthers. Cupcake with the ball. Back to Stevens, over to Talbert. 
Getting it inside to Dean. Let's see, we got a foul. So they're going to call it on, on number 11. That's Collins. That'll be her first. Panthers keep the ball. Stevens to Dorsey. Over to Cupcake. Oh, she traveled. That'll be a turnover. She tried to put the brakes on, but couldn't. Here comes Turner now. Lawson with the ball. Got it over to Fowler. Back to Smith. Oh, good steal by Dean. She'll tip it to herself. All the way, lays it up and in. Six to nothing, Panthers on top. There's another steal. Cup oh, she couldn't hold on to it. Cupcake had it. Dorsey will slap it away and get a steal. Back to Dean. Here come the Panthers now. Talbert with the ball. Over to Cupcake. Steven back to Talbert. Dorsey has it. She's going to take a three. Boom! Got it. Good shot by Dorsey. Seven points here in the first two minutes for Dorsey. Nine to nothing. Smith with the ball. We got a timeout. Turner wants it. We'll take one, two. We'll be back in just a second. Homerville, are you ready for a positive change? Vote Tom Kennedy for mayor. With a proven track record of 10 years of community service, Tom Kennedy has the experience needed to tackle our most pressing issues. With the right leadership, we can have a future where our community thrives, where trust is rebuilt, and where we move forward together. Now is the time to choose a leader who will restore faith, renew progress, and lead our community toward a brighter tomorrow. Vote Tom Kennedy for mayor, because together we can build a future we can all believe in. Located in Homerville, Georgia, the Avery House offers the finest selection of bespoke home decor, thoughtfully curated gifts, fresh and permanent florals, jewelry, and bridal registries. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with limited shopping. All right, everybody, we're back. Turner with the ball. They get it to Lawson. Lawson traveled. That'll be a turnover. 419 to play in the first. Coach Raymond wanted a timeout for Turner. Talk it over. They're down nine to nothing. Morris in the game for the Panthers now. Magby will bring it in. Got it to Talbert. Turner in a little press. Oh, trying to get it to Morris. Stevens got it. Back to Dorsey. Back to Morris. She'll throw it up and got it. 11 to nothing now. Fowler bringing it down for Turner. Back over to Lawson. She lost it. Talbert with the steal. Oh, push from behind. Knocked out of bounds. No, they said she kicked it. Panthers turn it over. Here come Turner. We want to give a shout out. Alumni for Turner County. Kia Burgess. Playing at the University of Alabama. Good shot there by number 20, Harding for Turner. She's at the game tonight. Boy, she was a great player for the Lady Titans back in the day. She is at the University of Alabama. Talk to her. We want to give her and her family a shout out. All right, here comes Turner. 11 to two, Panthers on top. Long three, no good, rebound in there. Got it, number 11 with the shot, that's Collins. 11 to four now. Oh, lose it out of bounds. Coach Chase said we need a timeout. So they'll take one. We'll be back in just a second. And then along came Walker Jones. 
at Walker Jones' new 2024 Chevy truck are arriving daily, and the 23s must go. go. Like this beautiful iridescent white pearl tri-coat Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. Price to move at Walker Jones is the home of the lifetime warranty at no extra cost to you. Chevy, Chevy find new roads. Walker Jones Chevrolet. Memorial Drive in Waycross. And online at walkerjoneschevy.com. Get the best deal from Walker. All right, everybody, we're back. Turner with the ball. They get it to Lawson. Good pass down to number four. Can't get it. Magby with the rebound. Here come the Panthers. Talbert will slow it down now. She'll kick it out to Steven. No, that's Nana. Morris will throw up a three. Off the back of the rim won't go. Fowler with the rebound for Turner. She'll get it to Lawson. Long pass down to number four, Edwards. Now they'll slow it down. Edwards drives. She traveled. Dean will check back in the game. Morris will take a break. Talbert back to Nana. Nana dribbling down for the Panthers. Got it to Magby. Over to Talbert. Talbert sees a gap. She'll drive in, lays it up and in. 13 to four, 225 to play in the first. Here comes Turner. Fowler will throw one up, won't go. Rebound in there, nine nine. She'll get it to Dean and here come the Panthers. Dean, a long pass to Magby. Oh, good block there by Fowler for Turner. Magby had a second to get it off and couldn't. Nana will bring it in for the Panthers. Got it to Magby. Back to Talbert. Got it to Dorsey at the free throw line. Won't go. Here comes Turner now. Fowler, a long pass out to Edwards. Back out to Fowler. She'll throw up a three. Boom! Got it. Edwards with a three. 13 to seven now. Turner's defense working pretty good. Magby back, good passing by the Panthers to Dorsey and got it. 15 to seven, 135 to play in the first. Edwards with the ball. Good pass, oh, she was trying to get it to Collins. Down low for Turner, couldn't hold on to it. Collins will take a break. Williams will come in the game for Turner. Magby will bring it in. Cupcake will dribble down for the Panthers. Over to Nana. Nana to Dorsey. Dorsey, 15 footer. Man, it went in and come out. Rebound in there, number 20 for Turner. That's Harding. Got it to Lawson. Magby's going to be called for a foul, I think. Let's see. Yep, that'll be on Magby. That'll be her first. Coach Chase, they were trying to call it on Dean. Coach Chase was hollering, no, it's on three, it's on three. They finally got it right. Edwards with the ball. Got it back over to Lawson. Dorsey will knock it out of bounds. Turner will keep it. 58 seconds to play in the first. They get it down to 20, back out to Lawson. Oh, and packed by Dean up into the cheerleaders. Lawson was going to take a three-pointer. Dean was having none of that. Wide open, Fowler at the free throw line, won't go. Dean with the rebound, long pass. He'll overthrow everybody and out of bounds. 46 seconds to play here in the first, 15 to seven. Panthers led 11 to nothing at one time. 
Missy Collins says, let's go Lady Panthers from Lakeland, Georgia. Whitney Merriweather, let's go Lady Panthers. Dean with the steal, here they come. She's gonna take it all the way, left-handed, wouldn't go. Magby with the rebound, over to Nana. Back to Dorsey. Oh, good pass by Dorsey, got it to Nana under the basket, couldn't get it. Magby had it now, jump ball. 18 seconds to play in the first. Turner will have the possession. We got about 750 people watching Creek Box now. We appreciate everybody tuning in. Here we go. Lawson bringing it down for Turner. They'd love to get a basket right here at the end of the first. Wide open down low. Got it. Edwards with the basket. Five points for her tonight. Talbert has it, kicks it out to Dorsey. She'll throw up a three at the buzzer. It went off the rim. So after one quarter, Panthers 15, Turner County nine. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Don't forget your little ones this holiday season at our newest store, The Little Averett, offering a large selection of children's clothing, toys, paper goods, and baby registries with brands such as Proper Peony, Beaufort Bonnet, Feltman Brothers, Noodle and Boo, and Mary Mary. Mary Averett and The Little Averett are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. with limited shopping hours Wednesday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come join us for the merriest shopping experience in the South. Crafted with you in mind, our homes are a blend of style and warmth, turning dreams into reality. Whether you're seeking mobile, modular, or manufactured homes, Clayton Homes of Waycross has the perfect fit for you. Join the thousands who've chosen comfort, chosen quality, chosen Clayton Homes. Call today to speak with one of our experienced home consultants, 912-284-1728. We also offer land home packages, Clayton Homes of Waycross. All right, Daniel see me eating a French fry and he made us come back. Dorsey with the ball to the basket and got it. 11 points now for Dorsey, 17 to nine. Lawson with the ball. She got it over to number 10, Sanders. Back to Lawson, nine now, knock it out of bounds. Nope, they said it went off, so Panthers have it. Here comes Talbert now. Over to Cupcake. Got it to Talbert. Back out to Nana. Cupcake. Dean trying to post up down low. Dorsey with it at the free throw line. Got it to Dean. Three pointer. Ooh, off the rim. Boy, that was close. Long pass. Fowler to Lawson. She traveled. She couldn't get her body turned around. Here come the Panthers now. Talbert with the ball. Over to Cupcake. Back to Nana. Over to Talbert. Cupcake with the ball. Got it to Dean in the paint. Turn around jumper off the back of the rim. Dorsey with the rebound. Back up. Won't go. Dean with the rebound. And we'll have a foul. That's going to be on number 20. That's Harding. That'll be her first. You got the heat on tonight, Daniel. First shot up, and it won't go for Dean. Morris getting ready to check in for the Panthers, and Collins for Turner. Now, now I'll take a break, and Harding will take one for Turner. Second shot on the way for Dean. Oh, let's sit on the rim, wouldn't go. Dorsey almost had it. Turner knocked it out of bounds. Panthers will keep it. Magby coming in the game now. Dorsey will take a break. Morris will bring it in for the Panthers. Talbert has it. 
Back over to Cupcake. They get it to Magby trying to drive in. They'll steal it. Magby trying to steal it back. Can't. Collins with the ball. Good pass. Oh, Turner will miss. Magby wrapped it up. It'll be a jump ball. Turner will have it. Seventeen to nine, Panthers lead. Fowler with the ball, back to Lawson. They get it to Collins down low. She'll throw it up. That'll be a foul on Magby. That's going to be her second. Coach Chase probably won't waste much time. That's going to put Collins at the free throw line. Jermaine Duke Jackson, one of the biggest Panther fans of all time. We want to give him a shout out from Coach Cynthia and all the Panther players, girls and boys here. We appreciate you tuning in, buddy. Wish you could be here. Collins will miss her first one. Second one on the way. Got it, good shot for Collins. 17 to 10 now, Talbert with the ball. Over to Morris. Magby back to Morris, Morris with a three, overshot it. Collins with the rebound, Talbert will steal it. She goes to the basket, won't go. Dean had it, but couldn't save it. Here comes Turner now. Fowler will bring it down. Back to Lawson. Edwards driving in, can't get it to go. Got her own rebound, she'll draw a foul. 25 for the Panthers, that'll be Morris, that'll be her first. Edwards at the free throw line. She had five points and she'll miss her first one. Half of the points for Turner tonight. Second shot on the way. Good shot. Got that one. 17 to 11, a six point game now. Panthers led by as many as 11 at one time. Turner slowly getting back in it. Marsh will throw up a long three, won't go. Dean with the rebound back up and got it. Four points for Dean tonight. 19 to 11 now. Ooh, almost backcourt, good job by Fowler. She'll pull up at the free throw line and won't go. Marsh with the rebound, she'll give it to Dean. Dean all the way with a foul. Oh man, she was hit twice. Fowler's going to hurry up and help her up. That'll be Fowler's first foul. Both of them playing hard. Dean at the free throw line now. First shot on the way, and she'll miss it. Dorsey coming in the game now. Magby will take a break. Second free throw on the way for Dean. Got it, good shot. 20 to 11. Fowler bringing the ball down for Turner. A long pass across, got it to Lawson. Lawson drives in, throws one up, won't go. Dean with the rebound, jump ball. Panthers will have it. Albert will bring it in for the Panthers. Here comes Cupcake now. She'll bring it down. 
Over to Morris. Got it to Dorsey. Dorsey, one dribble off the backboard. Won't go. Dean with the rebound. She'll turn around and got it. Five points here in the second for Dean. 22 to 11. Panther building another lead. Fowler dribbles in, lays it up. Good move. Good ball movement by Fowler. 22-13 now. Morris bringing it down. Oh, good pass. Dean took it away. Trying to get it to Dorsey. It's going to be knocked out of bounds. Panthers will have it. The referee's talking to Coach Lee Douglas. <laughs> Lee said there's no jump ball. Here we go. They get it in. Morris with the ball. She lost it out of bounds. It went off the side of her leg. Hmm. 22-13. Here comes Turner now. Martin with the ball. Dean has it now. Long pass. Good job. Lawson has it. Lost it out of bounds. We're up above a thousand people watching Creekbox tonight. We appreciate everybody tuning in on a Tuesday night basketball game. My buddy AC Cooper, I think they're finishing up rec basketball this week. Long three by Morris off the back of the rim won't go. Panthers will knock it out of bounds. Turner has it. They also have middle school baseball. Little buddy Bobby Cox coaching there in Nashville. Scott, he's helping a middle school coach. They got a doubleheader tonight. Oh, Turner, she traveled, tried to save it. A lot of running, but no points here in the last couple of minutes. All right, Talbert will bring it in. Stevens in the game now for the Panthers. Got it to Magby. Magby to Stevens. Oh, Stevens lost it. Lawson has it. Oh. Said she traveled, so that'll be a turnover. Here we go. Little Winston's on standby. Long arm of the law. Here we go. Stevens with it. Back to Dorsey. Dorsey needs some help. She got it out. Got it to Stevens. Stevens will give it to Dean. Dean's going to dribble around. Good pass to Magby underneath and got it. Good ball movement by the Panthers. 24 15 now. Fowler with the ball. She'll pull up at the free throw line. Number 20 got it. Threw it back up. That was Harding. It'll go out of bounds. Panthers have it. Stevens bringing it down for the Panthers. Magby with the ball. Dean has it now. Back to Stevens. Number three, Martin, is man-to-man -man with Talbert. They're trying to keep Talbert away from the ball. She's got it now. Martin will pick her up. Dean, turnaround jumper, 10-footer, won't go. Jump ball. Turner with the possession. Fowler will bring it in and bring it down. Pull up at the free throw line, can't go. Oh man, 20 had it, Harding did, lost it out of bounds. 
Nana coming in the game now for the Panthers. Dean will take a break. Steven bringing it down. Over to Nana. Nana drives in, blocked out of bounds. Panthers to keep it. Magby with it. 12 footer, too much. Harding with the rebound, she got it. Good job, got it over to Edwards. Good move there by number three. Oh, couldn't get it. That was Martin with the drive. Missed it. Nine nine. I'll bring it down for the Panthers. Good save by Magby. Oh, and she was stepping on the line when Nine I give it back to her. 140 to play. Remind everybody that we'll have Coach Terrence George here at halftime for the coach's interview. Sponsored by Tom Kennedy for mayor. Lawson will take a break now for Turner, and Smith will come in the game. Fowler has the ball. Good job. Dorsey just took it from her. Edwards drove, and Dorsey took it out of the air. She didn't just block it. She took it. Magby with the ball now. Got it over to Stevens. Stevens driving. Oh, there's a steal. Martin with the steal. Got it down low and one. Got it to Edwards and Edwards with the basket. Through the fouls on here. Number five, that'll be Nana. That'll be her first. That'll put Edwards at the free throw line. She's got eight points for Turner tonight. Half the points. One minute, eight seconds left to play in the first half. Edwards trying to make it a three-point play. She'll miss it. Fowler with the rebound. Turn around. Got it. Good shot by Fowler. Just like that, it's a six-point lead for the Panthers. There's a block by Fowler, and here comes Turner again. Long pass. Too much on it. Number 20, Harding will take a break now. Williams comes in the game. Good pressure. Edwards with the steal. Got it to Lawson up and in. 24-21 and another Panther turnover. Here comes Turner. Lawson will drive in, throws it up and got another one. 24-23, Panthers on top, but here come the Titans. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Be merry this holiday season at the Merry Acres, located in the heart of downtown Homerville, Georgia. The largest Christmas decor and holiday showroom south of Atlanta. Come experience the magic of the holiday season with brands such as Christopher Radko, Mark Roberts, and Glitterville with an extensive selection of tree trimmings, tabletop decor, and holiday-themed gifts. The Mary Averett has everything you need to make every day a holiday. At Richards in Homerville, Georgia, you'll find the best meats and seafood anywhere around. For all your holiday needs, parties, and special events, we provide catering that will make the occasion one your guests will never forget. Whether it's a wedding, company party, political event, or convention from Savannah to Atlanta and parts beyond. Call Gregory to schedule Richard's Catering Service or to purchase their famous barbecue sauce today. Nine one. All right, everybody, we're back. Turner on an eight to nothing run. Panthers need a basket now. They got it to nine nine. That'll be a foul. That's going to be on Edwards, I think. Yep, number four. That'll be her first. Nana will be at the free throw line for the Panthers. 24-23. Clinch on top. Nana will miss her first one. 
Fowler getting ready to come back in the game. Second free throw on the way. She'll miss that one. Fowler with the rebound. Turner can take the lead. A good pass down to number five. Oh, she couldn't get it. Second shot, couldn't get it. Finally, Nana with the ball. Oh, trying to get it to Dorsey. Out of bounds. 15 seconds to play. Turner had a chance to take the lead. Posley says, let's go, Lady Panthers. Oh, and that one's going to go through Martin's hands and out of bounds. Panthers take back over 11 seconds. Fowler back to the bench. Williams in the game, number one. They get it to Nana. Back to Talbert. They got her trapped. You got to get her some help. They get it to Cupcake. Talbert gets it back. She'll throw it up at the buzzer. So at the half, it's Clinch County 24, Turner County 23. We'll be back in 10 minutes. We'll be back in just a second with Coach Terrence George. Y'all don't go anywhere. Enjoy the Pizza Inn All Day Buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn and Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Alaska. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Alaska can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. Got my good buddy and the head ball coach for the Clinch County Panthers, Coach Terrence George. Man, Coach Terrence George, we appreciate you taking the time out. Hey, man, thank you for having me again, man. Man, the Panthers, you know, we struggled there. We had a three-game gap where we couldn't make nothing, and now, man, uh, it just shows you we, we got a little bit of confidence. I guess we're shooting the eyes out now. Yeah, a little bit of confidence, man, and, you know, it, it just changes uh, the dynamics of the game, man, whenever you are able to hit a few outside shots, man. It puts a lot of pressure on the defense, man. Well, we got another big region game tonight. We get this one, then we go to Adel Friday, and, of course, we come home for the final one against the Bulldogs from Lanier County. Oh, yeah, man, looking forward to it. You know, tonight be a big challenge for us. Turner County always plays us tough, you know. They're going to hustle for the entire game. They're going to give us what they got, you know, and so we just got to make sure that we are ready to play and come out and execute our offensive game plan. You know, you look back, we beat them by 20 the first time, but then you look, Lanier went the other night. And it was a close game. I think you said two or three points. Lanier got out there with the win, so that shows you on any given night, anything's possible here in our region. Hey, man, on basketball, man, any given night, man, you can be up by 15 and lose that game in a matter of one quarter, you know, so – you know, anything goes, man. You just got to be ready and prepared, man. Well, how are the Panthers doing health-wise? Everybody pretty much healthy, Coach? Yeah, um, everybody's, everybody's healthy, man. Uh, so we got a full full lineup, you know, and so uh, we'll look to mix it up and throw different guys out there and, and see what we can come away with. Man, I know, and, and, you know, a lot of people ask, we got a game that doesn't count against Cook County, but you're going to play your starters, but how long do you play them? Man, we're going to approach every game uh, with the intent on winning it, you know. And so we're going to play that game to win that game. We're not going to look past Cook 
and try to, you know, save energy or, or, or you know, look to the next night for Lanier. Um, we're going to play Cook when we go play Cook. And then we'll play Lanier when it's time to play Lanier. But, man, we're going to play each game, man, with the intention of winning. Well, that's the type of basketball we play. I think you hurt us when it, it does hurt us when you try to say, well, let's save our legs or do something like that. Uh, yeah, I think you could get back in that slump and, and could throw you off. And with a big game, I know the gym will be packed. That's right. Uh, this Saturday for Lanier County, it's always packed, man. Uh, uh, you got any of the boys you want to brag on? Uh, all of them have been playing good. Any of the ones that stick out that you want to brag on? Man, I got to give kudos to R.J. Gloucester, man. He finally come out of that little slump that he's had pretty much all season, man, and, and scoring the basketball. And Like I said, that changes the dynamics of what we're trying to do. Uh, we've got a few freshmen that have stepped up, man. Kamarion Johnson has come alive these past couple of games, man. And so he's going to, you know, at this point in time, he's getting more in, more minutes on the floor because he's earned it, you know. Um, Travis, you know, he, he last time he played uh, Turner County, he started rebounding the ball, scoring buckets. And so uh, he, he kind of, you know, fell out of the groove a little bit over the past couple of games. But then, you know, we went to Charlton, he got back in the groove and scored a lot, you know, between Charlton and Atco. And so, man, he'll play a lot again tonight. And so, you know, just shout out to those guys, man, to, to those freshmen in particular, man, on making, you know, some strides that's really going to help us down the stretch. Well, man, I love the lineup when you bring Johnson in with uh, Bryant and R.J. And then, man, Raymond under the basket, he finds a way to get the ball off. I mean, he, he very seldom have, have ever had his blocked shot, his, his shot blocked. That's right. Uh, he knows how to scoot around and find a gap somewhere to get it off the backboard. Yeah, man, he's had a tremendous year for us also, man. You know, he's he's small, you know, he's the size of a I guard. But, he, you know, he plays in there with the bigs all, you know, all year long. And so, um, you know, he's done a great job down there with that. Well, man, we appreciate you taking the time to come with us. We're going to see you again Friday over in Adel, man. Hey, man, thank you for having me, man. All right, good luck tonight, Coach. Thank you. All right, folks, there you go, Coach Terrence George. We're going to take a few seconds to run some ads, and we'll be back for the second half here between Clinch County and Turner County. Our commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912 470-2359 to learn more. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including the perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia, is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville.
at Bert. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Ankor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912 470-2359 to schedule yours today. This is Alan Hanley and I want to tell you about Dre Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre at Dre Snack Chat. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. Got my buddy Daniel Munzo up here running the camera. Panthers lead by one, make it three now. Dorsey with 13 points now. She had 11 in the first half. 26-23. Turner was down by 12 at one time and cut it to a point. Fowler with the long shot. She has six for Turner. Back to a one point. Magby with the ball. Got it over to Cupcake. Back to Dorsey. Back to Cupcake. Looking around, they get it to Magby. She'll throw up a three off the back of the rim. Got her own rebound. Got it back to Talbert. Talbert will pull up at the free throw line and won't go. Rebound, Turner, here comes Lawson, number five. Can't get it to go. There's a long pass and out of bounds. Turner will have it now. Harding, they were trying to get it to Harding. Go Panthers from the King. Carter says, okay, girls, let's get it. Let's go. Turner with the ball can take their first lead of the night right here. Lawson will dump it over to Collins, throws it up, won't go. Cupcake with the rebound. She picked her dribble up. There's a steal back to Lawson, up and in. Turner with the lead now, 27-26. Here come the Panthers. Dean with it, got it to Magby. Back to Cupcake, Dorsey with it. Talbert has it. Got it to Dean down low. Turnaround jumper won't go. Collins fighting for it. Stepped out of bounds as she was trying to get it. Panthers have it. Talbert will bring it in. We got a sub coming on. Number three will come out. Martin will take a break. Williams in the game for Turner. Whatever. 
referee's talking. I guess they got it straight now. Nani getting ready to check in for the Panthers. Here she comes. Dorsey will take a break. Colbert will get it to Nana. Over to Magby. Back to Cupcake. Nana with the ball. Magby. Oh, off the hands. Hit Dean right in the face. Cupcake threw it up. Turner, long pass. Lawson wide open again. Dean slapped it away, but she traveled. Good hustle by Dean down the court. Now, now I'll bring it in for the Panthers. Here comes Cupcake now. Got it back to Nana. Magby with the ball. All the way across to Cupcake, down to Nana. Dean now off the backboard, it won't go. Cupcake fighting for it, got it. Oh, and they missed it, here comes the Titans. Good pass over to number four, Edwards. 10 points for her tonight. 29-26 now, Turner on top. There's another steal by Turner. Lawson with the ball. Bounce pass over to Williams, got it. 31-26. Turner trying to pull away a little bit. Cupcake, back to Nana. Nana will throw a 12 foot up and got it. Good shot by Nana. 31-28, Turner on top and Turner will throw it away. Panthers have it. We're getting ready now. Colbert will bring it in. Got it to Magby. Magby to Cupcake. You got to hurry up, get it across. She stopped. They tied up, jump ball. Turner has it. Stevens will come in the game now for the Panthers. Cupcake will take a break. Lawson got it to Fowler. Out of bounds. Turner will keep it. Fowler will bring it in for the Titans. To get it to number three, throws it up, can't go. Stevens with the rebound, here come the Panthers. Good shot, Dean all the way in. Nine points for Dean tonight. Back to a one-point game, 31-30. Turner on top, in and out of the hands for Williams. She was open, it went out of bounds. Ms. Carolyn Jones says, let's go CCHS Lady Panthers. Panthers have it. Steven, they're trying to take it from her. She needs some help. They throw it away. They get it. Pass underneath by Magby. Got it. Here comes Turner now. Fowler with the ball. She'll drive in and lays it up. Can't go. Stevens with another rebound. Oh, we got a foul. So they're going to call it on number three. That's Martin. That'll be her first. Thirty-two, thirty-one. Panthers back on top. 3.53 to play in the third. Stevens with the ball. She'll dribble through two. Back to Cupcake. Over to Nana. Nana dribbling in the paint, lays it up, won't go. Dean with the rebound. The second time she'll miss. Stevens will throw it up, she'll draw a foul. That's gonna be on number five, Lawson. That'll be her first. Oh, 
over 1,200 people watching now on Creek Box. We appreciate everybody tuning in. Stevens first shot up and in. Good shot. 33-31 now. Panthers on top. Second free throw on the way. It'll be short. It didn't hit the rim, so Turner will have it. Fowler will bring it in. Panthers in a press. Long pass. Got it to Lawson. Down low to number three. Up and in. Good job. Martin will lay it up and in. We're tied up 33-33. Talbert with the ball. That's going to be a foul. On number one, that's Williams. That'll be her first. Talbert will bring it in for the Panthers. Stevens back to Talbert. Got it to Dean. There's two on Dean. They knock it out of her hands. Fowler with the ball now. Dribbling. She'll get it over to Lawson. Lawson dribbling. Got it over. Back to number 14. She lays it up. Wrapped around the rim. Won't go. That was Smith. Up and in. Williams with another basket. 35-33 now, Turner back in front. Stevens with the ball. Oh, it'll be slapped out by Fowler. Long pass to Lawson. She keeps it, throws it up, won't go. Oh, she couldn't save it. Turner sees it, but they give out. He's gonna take a timeout. We'll take one too. We'll be back in just a second. All right, we're back. No timeout. He changed his mind. Talbert with the ball. She'll dribble all the way, and we'll have a foul. On number 14, that's Smith. That'll be her first. That's going to put Talbert at the free throw line. Thirty-five, thirty-three. Turner on top. First free throw on the way, got it. Good shot by Talbert. Three points for her tonight. Second free throw on the way, got them both. Good job by Talbert. We're tied up again. Smith with the ball, boy, she just did get it away. Williams has it. Back to Smith. Edwards driving in, can't get it. We got a foul on number 10. That's Cupcake. That'll be her first. That's going to put Harding at the line. 2.23 to play in the third. First free throw on the way. No good. Man, the Panthers just completely dominated Turner and Ashburn. One by over 20. Different night to night. There's a good shot by Harding. It went in. 36-35 now. There's another Panther turnover. Laid in there. No good. Throws it up and in. Smith with the basket. 38-35 now. Calls in the game for the Panthers. Stevens will throw it up and one. Good job by Stevens. Foul will be on Harding. That'll be her second. Three points here in the third for Stevens. Trying to make it four. One point game. 38-37. Turner leading. That's side up now. Good job by Stevens. Panthers in a press. Oh, Smith dribbled off her foot and out of bounds. Panthers have it. 2.01 to play in the third. Here Ford says, let's go, Lady Panthers. Pamela Johnson, go Panthers. Alice Taylor, let's go, Lady Panthers. We appreciate all y'all tuning in. Dean with the ball. 10-footer, got it. 
Good shot by Dean. 11 points for Dean tonight. Panthers back out front. Wide open, Collins off the backboard, up and in. Collins with five points tonight for Turner. We're tied back up, 40 to 40. They get it to Dean in the paint. Jumper, got it. Dean starting to warm up now. 42 to 40, Panthers back on top. We got a foul. I guess it was on Cupcake. Lawson with the ball. She'll get it in to Edwards. Edwards to the basket, lays it up, and she'll draw a foul. That will be on Dean. That'll be her first. Edwards at the free throw line. Trying to tie it up. First shot on the way. Off the rim, won't go. Morris coming into the game for the Panthers. Colsey will take a break. She plays great defense for the Panthers, number 14 does. Second free throw on the way, got it. Good shot by Edwards. 11 points for Edwards tonight. 42-41. Panthers out front. 1-10 to play in the third. Cupcake dribbling around over to Morris. They get it, trying to get it to Dean. Good steal by Edwards. Lawson with the ball now. Passes it over. Good job by Stevens. Hustling back down the court and got the block. Pamela Johnson says love from Shelby Corbett and, Corbett and Bristol Thomas. There's another block by Talbert. Turner will keep it. 26 on the shot clock, 55 seconds in the third. Magby in the game, and Nana in the game for the Panthers. Nana with the steal, here come the Panthers. Back to Stevens, over to Morris. They get it to Magby down low in the paint, off the backboard, won't go. Collins with the rebound, lost it, Dean stole it. Can't get it, got it again, still won't go. Nana will throw it up, it won't go. Dean with it again, she'll turn around, got it this time. Good work by Dean, 44-41 now. Fowler with the ball. Panthers have her trapped, there old Stevens almost with a steal. They get it to Collins under the goal, got it. Good work by Turner. Six seconds, five seconds, three seconds, two, one, won't go, that's it. Folks, don't go anywhere. Panthers lead 44-43. We'll be back in 60 seconds. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912-470-2359 to schedule yours today. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack.
All right, folks. Eight minutes away. Panthers win. They'll be the sub-region champions and will host the region tournament right here in Clinch County. If they lose, they got one more date. Saturday night, one more chance to win the region. The sub-region, Nana with the shot won't go. Magby with the rebound. Tauber to throw it up, it won't go. Morris had it. They said Fowler knocked it out of bounds. Morris will bring it in. Talbert with the ball. 10 on the shot clock. Talbert back out to Magby. Six seconds. Morris in the paint. Blocked in there by number 20. Fowler has it now. Here comes Turner. Edwards with the ball. Back to Fowler. Fowler pull up three-pointer. Boom! Got it! Fowler with a big three for Turner. And Turner's on top. 46-44, and that's going to be a foul on Lawson. Her second. Magby will bring it in. Now, now I'll take a break. Cupcake back in the game for the Panthers. Magby will drive in off the backboard. Won't go. Number 20, that's Harding with the rebound. We got a jump ball. Turner will have it. Dean back in the game. Stevens will take a break for the Panthers. Aviana Ford, let's go Lady Panthers. Aviana, great little basketball player. I had her and Jet, my little wreck team. We didn't lose a game. Long shot, Fowler won't go. Harding with the rebound up won't go. Finally, Edwards with it. Back to Fowler. She'll throw up another three. Won't go. Dean with it now. Long pass out to Talbert. Talbert lays it up and it won't go. Lawson with the rebound. Here comes Turner. Lawson slows it down now. Back to Fowler. Fowler pull up. Outside. Short. Won't go. Talbert with the rebound. Go. They're going to say, nope, a foul on number 10, that's Sanders. That'll be our first. Papa John says, CCHS Panthers, Jim needs. <laughs> yeah, they're working on that. Ford says, I hope Bell gets a dunk when the boys play. She hit her first one. Talbert with her first one. One point game. Second one up and in. Good job by Talbert. We're all tied up. 46 apiece. Fowler with the ball. Got it over to Lawson. Inside. Oh, good block by Dorsey. Dorsey back in the game now. Here comes Cupcake. Got it to Magby. Wide open, Dean under the gold. She'll turn around, jump, can't go. Dorsey had it, lost it. Lawson got it, Dean stole it. Panthers with it. Dean had to pick her dribble up, back to Talbert. Talbert drives all the way in. Good block in there by Harding. Oh, and she traveled. They're trying to get it to Lawson. Angie says, let's go Lady Panthers from Jonathan and Angela Talbert from Cutting Loop. Here Ford says, let's go Panthers. We above 1,500 people watching now. Long three, got it, and boom, Magby with it. Big basket for the Panthers, 49-46 now. Dorsey with the steal. Coach Chase wanted a timeout. We'll take one, too. We'll be back in just a second.
For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. We're live here in Homerville for a big region 2A game. Panthers need it to sew up the sub-region title. Dean with the ball, turnaround jumper, won't go. Dorsey with the rebound, up and in. Good job by Dorsey. 51-46 now, Panthers building a little lead. Good steal by Talbert. She'll lay it out to Magby. Magby takes it all the way up and in. Turner County said, I've seen enough. We'll take a break, but we're gonna stay right here. Right. Did you know instead of paying your Georgia taxes back to the state, the hospital has the Georgia Heart program where you don't have to send your taxes and worry about where it's done. You can uh, pay your taxes back to Clint Memorial Hospital. This gives you control over where your tax dollars are spent and who wouldn't want them to come back locally to our community. The process is simple. Once you estimate how much you owe in state income taxes, you can complete the form online. Takes less than two minutes, folks. When you're ready, you can make your payments to see uh, the Clinton Memorial Hospital within six months. And once you're done, your taxes are paid. You'll have supported and purchased new equipment, increased service lines, and improved the quality of health care for Clinch County. For more information, please call Lily Blitch at 912-470-2401. All right, here comes Turner, wide open, number four, Dorsey got it. Blocked it, but they're gonna call a foul on her. Man, that was good hustle by Dorsey. That'll be her first foul. 53-46, 438 to play. That's gonna put Edwards at the free throw line. Edwards with 11 points tonight for Turner. First free throw on the way, got it. Good shot by Edwards. <laughs> Williams in the game now for Turner. Harding will take a break, a much needed one. She's played hard tonight for the Titans. Second free throw on the way for Williams. Got them both. For Edwards, excuse me, got them both. 53-48, Dean drives to the basket and gets it. Good job by Dean. Oh, Dean almost with a steal. Fowler has it, she's gonna throw it up, won't go. Rebound, Turner can't get it to go. Number three will throw it up, can't get it to go. Turner, Lawson had it, she'll lose it. Dorsey got it. Magby with the ball now. She'll lay it up and get fouled. That's gonna be on number two, that's Fowler, and that'll be her second. The life of MJ says, let's go Titans. Miss Lenore says, Miss Betty probably just had a heart attack. Go girls. <laughs> hey, I know mama's watching. 
Uh, Miss Felicia Jeffords, Clinch Middle School, 18, takes the win in Barron County, 14 to nothing. The Clinch B team is up 10 to eight in the third inning. Go Lady Panthers, appreciate that, Miss Felicia. Carolyn Jones says roll, red, roll. Dean up and in with the basket. 57-48, Panthers trying to pull away now. Dean almost got it and does. She'll come down and lays it. Oh, it wouldn't go. It rolled everywhere but in. Got a foul on number four. That's going to be on Dean. That'll be her second. Dean with 19 points tonight for the Panthers. She had seven at halftime. She's turned it up with 12 here in the second half. Oh, no foul on nobody. Turner will throw it up. Dorsey will steal it. Here come the Panthers. Talbert going to slow it down. Back out to Cupcake over to Stevens. Got it to Dorsey. Trying to get it back to Stevens. Turner will knock it out of bounds. 3.24 to play. Folks, don't go anywhere. The boys will play next, and it'll be a good one. Always a great game when Turner County and Clinch County square off on the basketball court. Cupcake trying to get it to Dean. They had her blocked up. She'll drive in and throw it up. Dean with the rebound. Can't get it to go. Jump ball now. There's three or four of them laying on it. Let's see. I think Turner will have it. Nope, they said the Panthers have it. They get it to Dorsey. Dorsey, a 12-footer, wrapped around the rim. Knocked out of bounds by Turner. Panthers will keep it. Magby back in the game tonight for the Panthers. She has seven points tonight. Nine points, excuse me. She has played great. Lawson, good pass over to number three. Can't go. Turner, man, they have missed so many layups. Foul will be on number 13. That is Stevens. That'll be her first. Turner's going to look back. Man, they have missed some layups. They said the Titans Middle School plays Irwin Thursday. That ought to be a good game between Irwin and... The Titans, number three will miss her first one. That's Martin at the free throw line. Turner has went cold. And they said we want a timeout, and it'll be a 60-second timeout. We'll be back in just a second. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. All right, folks, we're back. 2.47 to play in the game. Martin at the free throw line. Mr. Second one, Stevens with the rebound. We got a foul. They're going to call that on Martin, and that'll be her second. Panthers will have it. Magby will bring it in. This has been a great game tonight. Panthers trying to throw up the sub-region title right here tonight. Stevens with the ball. 
She'll dribble around, back out to Talbert. Panthers gonna chew a little bit of clock now. Back to Stevens. Over to Nana, back to Stevens. Magby with the ball now. We got a foul on number five, Nana. Said so she got into her with her body and that'll be foul number two. Dean will come back in the game. Now now I'll take a break. Morris back in the game. Stevens will come out. Lawson with the ball. Got it down to number three, Martin. Good defense by the Panthers. Lawson, nowhere to go. Got it back outside. Turner's got to start shooting the ball. 14, she'll throw it up. Can't get it to go. Rebound. Titan got it up and in. Good shot by Martin. 57-50 now. Panthers, slow it down a little bit. How about it now? You doing all right? Morris with the ball. Back to Magby. Saved it somehow. Good job. Plenty of time on the shot clock. They get it to Dean down low, back to Dorsey. Nine seconds now, eight, seven, plenty of time. Dean with a big rebound, back up. Lost it, got it again, got it this time. Good shot by Dean. 59-50, the Panthers are gonna get a win and be the sub-region champions once again. Man, everybody in Clinch County's got to be excited. The Panthers will host the region championships between the girls and the boys. It'll be right here in Clinch County. Under a minute now. Talbert to draw a foul. That's gonna be on Martin. That'll be her third. That'll put Talbert at the free throw line. So matter, no matter what happens Saturday against Lanier, of course you want to win. You play in Lanier, you want to win in picking up pine cones or playing marbles, it doesn't matter. But regardless, if somehow the Panthers were to lose, they're still the region champions. The sub-region champions, excuse me. Talbert will miss the first one, second one on the way. Let's go number three. Dollar Bill, let's go Panthers. They've turned it up. Morris with the ball. Oh, out of bounds, Morris lost it out of bounds, so Turner has it. Here comes Turner. They're gonna, oh, Dorsey with the block. Morris with the rebound, she'll draw a foul. That's gonna be on number three. That'll be Martin and that'll be her fourth. 35 seconds. Folks, don't go anywhere. We got the boys coming up next. Morris at the free throw line. She has two points tonight for the Panthers. First one on the way, got it. Good shot by Morris. Second one on the way, got them both. Good job. 61-50 now. Smith with the ball, trying to get it inside, lost it out of bounds, Panthers have it. 26 seconds to play. Just a matter of running out the clock. Marshall throw it into Dean. Dean dribbling around and that's gonna be foul number five on Martin, she'll be gone. <laughs> 
I thought she would have gone, maybe not. I don't know, there's the first shot by Dean in and out, won't go. Dean will miss her second, got her own rebound. Panthers just trying to run out the clock. Talbert back to Marsh. There's a foul, number 14. Smith, really 12 seconds. The game's over. First shot on the way from Morris and off the rim. Second free throw on the way from Morris. Got it. 62-50. Eight seconds. Long three, won't go. Morris with the rebound, and that's going to do it, folks. The Panthers will win the sub-region championship. Sewed it up tonight against the Turner County Titans, 62-50. to Y'all don't go anywhere. We're going to take a little break and come back for the boys. We'll be back in just a little bit. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statenville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. Homerville, are you ready for a positive change? Vote Tom Kennedy for mayor. With a proven track record of 10 years of community service, Tom Kennedy has the experience needed to tackle our most pressing issues. With the right leadership, we can have a future where our community thrives, where trust is rebuilt, and where we move forward together. Now is the time to choose a leader who will restore faith, renew progress, and lead our community toward a brighter tomorrow. Vote Tom Kennedy for mayor, because together we can build a future we can all believe in. Located in Homerville, Georgia, the Avery House offers the finest selection of bespoke home decor, thoughtfully curated gifts, fresh and permanent florals, jewelry, and bridal registries. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with limited shopping hours on Wednesday and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. The Averett House is the ultimate shopping destination with gifts for him and her. And then I 
Monkey Walker Jones. At Walker Jones, new 2024 Chevy trucks are arriving daily. And the 23s must go. Like this beautiful iridescent white pearl Trico Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. Price to move. At Walker Jones is the home of the lifetime warranty at no extra cost to you. Chevy, find new roads. Walker Jones Chevrolet. Memorial Drive in Waycross. And online at walkerjonesChevy.com. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. Don't forget your little ones this holiday season at our newest store, The Little Averett, offering a large selection of children's clothing, toys, paper goods, and baby registries with brands such as Proper Peony, Beaufort Bonnet, Feltman Brothers, Noodle and Boo, and Mary Mary. Mary Averett and The Little Averett are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. with limited shopping hours Wednesday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come join us for the merriest shopping experience in the South. Crafted with you in mind, our homes are a blend of style and warmth, turning dreams into reality. Whether you're seeking mobile, modular, or manufactured homes, Clayton Homes of Waycross has the perfect fit for you. Join the thousands who've chosen comfort, chosen quality, chosen Clayton Homes. Call today to speak with one of our experienced home consultants, 912-284-1728. We also offer land home packages, Clayton Homes of Waycross. Be merry this holiday season at the Mary Averett, located in the heart of downtown Homerville, Georgia, the largest Christmas decor and holiday showroom south of Atlanta. Come experience the magic of the holiday season with brands such as Christopher Radko, Mark Roberts, and Glitterville, with an extensive selection of tree trimmings, tabletop decor, and holiday-themed gifts. The Mary Averett has everything you need to make every day a holiday. At Richards in Homerville, Georgia, you'll find the best meats and seafood anywhere around. For all your holiday needs, parties, and special events, we provide catering that will make the occasion one your guests will never forget. Whether it's a wedding, company party, political event, or convention from Savannah to Atlanta and parts beyond, call Gregory to schedule Richards Catering Service or to purchase their famous barbecue sauce today. 912 912- 487-5822. Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Alaska. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Alaska can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day. commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912 912- 470-2359 to learn more.
Big Daddy's Bar & Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue Homerville has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including that perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912 470-2359 to schedule yours today. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre at Dre Snack Shack. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. 
The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Lutz Brown Pigler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities and bonds. Lutz Brown Pigler and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statonville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. I got my buddy Daniel Munzo. <laughs> Munoz! I get used to saying Munzo, it gets it becomes a habit. Munoz! Hey. We are live here in Homerville, getting ready for the boys' game. The girls are the sub region champions. We're getting yeah, ready for the starting lineup. Number one, Q Field. Number 10, Sid Hilbert. Number 11, Derek Martin. Number 12, Curtis Grant. And number 14, Sam Lawson. And your starting lineup for the Panthers. Number 1, RJ Gloucester. Number 2, Kamarion Johnson. Number four, Eric Bryant. Number 13, Jeremy Bell. And number 23, Jake Sean Lady. All right, there's your starting lineup for the uh, both teams. I didn't catch his name. And I didn't hear uh, Coach Lee. Number 13 is Lawson. He's got a different number than the last time. He was number two last time, I think. All right, here we go. Panthers will be in their white uniforms. Turner in their black uniforms. Number one, Quay Vale, 12. Curtis Grant. Is 12 number two is J. 
JT Terry three, Hanson Sears. Man, if you know number 12, man, what did you say? Grant, okay, I appreciate that, brother. Thank you, MJ. All right, Panthers will miss their first shot. Here come Turner now, number 11. That's Martin with the rebound. Hillman with the ball. He'll pass it out to number 14, King. King to the basket, he'll miss it. Long pass by Johnson out of bounds. He was trying to get it to Bell. We got around 1,800 people watching Creek Box tonight. We appreciate appreciate everybody from Turner County that's tuning in. Got a lot of folks from Turner. All right, number 11 is going to drive in there. Got it. Good shot by Martin with the basket. Turner leads two to nothing. They almost upset the number one team in the region, Lanier County, Saturday night. Lanier squeaked out a three-point win. Johnson with the ball. Got it to Bryant. Bryant back to Raymond. Raymond will get it to Bell in the paint. Bell turn around, jumper off the backboard. Got it. Good shot by Bell. Now we're all tied up. Two to two. Panthers steal it right back. Put it up and in. Four to two. Oh, and they're going to call double dribble on Val. Panthers get it right back. Coach Office don't like that call. He does a good job. Coach is hard for Turner. Him and Coach Johnson. Johnson is the assistant coach. Coach Office is the head coach for Turtle County. Raymond will give it back up to RJ. RJ kicks it out to Johnson. Boom, there's a three. Johnson with a three. Turner wants a timeout. Nope, yep. No, he just wanted to talk to the referee, I think. Coach Terrence George will keep the Panthers in a little press. Oh, and they're going to call a foul on Johnson. That'll be his first. Seven to two, Panthers on top. Martin will bring it in for Turner. Nope, now they swap it up. Number 10, Hillman will come. Bring it in for the Titans. He'll get it to Val. Val, oh, there's a steal by Bell. He'll save it. Got it to RJ, leads it up, and he'll draw a foul. That's gonna be on Hillman, that'll be his first. Miss Johnson is watching. We says go Panthers. She doesn't miss, we appreciate Miss Johnson. RJ at the free throw line. RJ will miss his first one. Second shot on the way, got it. Good shot by RJ. Eight to two, got it back. Here come the Titans. Number 11, Martin lost it out of bounds. Panthers will take over. Brian will bring it down. Raymond with the ball, got it to Bell in the paint, turn around, 10 footer off the backboard, won't go, rebound in there, number 11 by Turner, that's Martin. He'll get it to Val. Val, good pass, Bell slapped it away. Val throws it back up and got it. Hillman was trying to get a layup. Bale slapped it away. Good job by Val to get it and put it back in for Turner. Bryant driving off the backboard. Four points for Bryant, 10 to four now. They get it back to Val. He is quick. They get it to number 11, Martin. Good pass from Martin. Got it, and one. That'll be two on Johnson. Let's see what Coach Terrence is going to do. 
He's looking at the bench now. He's going to bring one in. Mingo will get the nod. Johnson will sit down with two fouls. Grant with the basket. Got a chance to make it a three-point play for Turner. Marion McCray says, check it in from your Go Panthers. We appreciate you tuning in, brother. On the side of the big pond on the other side. Good shot by Grant. Here come the Panthers. 10 to seven. Panthers on top. Mingo driving in. He'll draw a foul. That's going to be on number 12. That's Grant. That'll be his first. It's Felicia Jefford. Says the Clinch Middle School B, B team gets the win 11 to nine. I hear you, Bobby Cox. My buddy, Coach Scott Lasis. Air Ford says, let's go bail. We love you. Mingo, first shot up and in. Second free throw on the way. Got it. Got them both. 12 to 7. Here come the Titan. Martin bringing it down. Got it back to Grant. Grant, good pass underneath. He missed it. Terry had it. He'll draw a foul, though. Man, he had a basket. Going to be on number 23, Raymond. That'll be his first. Andrew Westbrook says, you guys at Creek Box do a great job. Brother, we appreciate that. Go Titans. Oh, he'll miss the second one. 12 to eight. Panthers have it. Raymond trying to get it to Bell. Titans take it. Bow with the ball. He'll get it back over to Hillman. A long three off the back of the rim. Raymond with the rebound for the Panthers. Bell, it went right through his hands. RJ saved it. Brian will bring it down. Over to RJ. Mingo with the ball. Bryant with it now. Six seconds on the shot clock. Got it to Raymond off the backboard up and in. Good ball movement by the Panthers. 14 to eight. Oh, they traveled. RJ thought he had a foul. Knocked him off balance. Number five, Dulce will come in the game. Grant will take a break for Turner. Number 10, Miller in the game for the Panthers. Long three, Bryant, he'll miss it. Bale with the rebound. Got it right back to Miller. Reverse layup, can't get it to go. Oh man, number two, Terry had it and lost it out of bounds for Turner. Twenty. I don't know if they called a foul. Oh, 25 seconds on the shot clock. That's what the referee said. Bell with the ball. He'll pull up three. Boom! Got it. Bell outside. 17 to 8 now. Panthers on top. Titans needing a basket. Number 11 drives in. Can't get it to go. Turner's had some good looks. Just can't get the roll. They're going to call a foul on number 10, Hillman. That'll be his second. See what Coach Office is going to do, and he does it. Number four, Jackson in the game. Hillman will sit down with two fouls. Bryant with the ball. 
Got it inside. Miller. Miller lost it. Val with the steal. Val lost it. RJ with it. He'll lay it up and in. Good job by RJ. 19 to 8. Turner's going to take a break. We'll stay right here. I got another announcement. Daniel will get them out for me. I want to remind everybody to mark your calendars for Saturday, May the 4th, 2024, for a yard sale at Clinch Memorial Hospital. This will be the biggest yard sale in Clinch County this year with clothes, furniture, household items, and more. Not to mention barbecue plates, baked sales, and more fun for all the kids. If you are interested in donating your spring cleaning items or any items to the yard sale to make it easy, Clinch Memorial Hospital will come pick up all your items for you. You don't even have to be home. To schedule a pickup, call 912-470-2401. Don't forget to save the date, folks, May the 4th for the biggest yard sale in Clinch County. All right, Titans with the ball. Got it, number five. Oh, he lost it out of bounds. Here come the Panthers. Brian will bring it down. Miller will set a screen. Bryant lost it. Val. No, that's number four with the steal. Jackson, he lost it back to R.J. Bell. Boom! There it is. Two-hand slam by Bell. 21-8. Oh, Bell with the steal. Here he comes. He'll slow it back down. Back out to Bryant. Got it to Miller down low, and he traveled. 152 to play in the first. 21 to eight. Clinch County on top of Turner County. Martin bringing it down for the Titans. Gonna drive to the basket. Mingo took it. They're gonna call a jump ball. Panthers have the No, Turner's got the possession. Good job by Mingo. Kathy Dawson says, let's go Panthers. Great defense, RJ. He is playing some great offense too. Foul with the ball. Got it over to Jackson. Jackson trying to drive in, lost it, got it out to R.J. R.J. is going to lay it up. Oh, Bell couldn't get to it. Oh, but R.J. will come back and knock it out of bounds. Bell was too close to him. Wasn't far enough back to get it off the rim. Panthers have it. Jackson said he thought it went out of bounds on the Panthers. 115 to play, clock running here in the first. They get it to Miller. Miller, turn around off the backboard, got it. Good shot by Miller. 23 to eight. Here come the Titans, Martin with the ball. Oh, there's a steal by Mingo. Mingo, look, bounce pass to Bryant, won't go. Miller with the rebound and one. Good job by Miller. Foul will be on number 15 to Neal. That'll be his first. I don't see a 15 on the, yeah, I do. We got a timeout, so we'll take a break. We'll be back in just a second. Homerville, are you ready for a positive change? Vote Tom Kennedy for mayor. With a proven track record of 10 years of community service, Tom Kennedy has the experience needed to tackle our most pressing issues. With the right leadership, we can have a future where our community thrives, where trust is rebuilt, and where we move forward together. Now is the time to choose a leader who will restore faith, renew progress, and lead our community toward a brighter tomorrow. 
Vote Tom Kennedy for mayor, because together we can build a future we can all believe in. Located in Homerville, Georgia, the Averitt House offers the finest selection of bespoke home decor, thoughtfully curated gifts, fresh and permanent florals, jewelry, and bridal registries. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with All right, folks, Miller at the free throw line trying to make it a three-point play. He has four points tonight for the Panthers. Shout out to Mingo from Joe Mingo Sr. Yeah, Mingo's just a freshman. There's going to be a lot of shout outs for it's over with for that young man. He is going to be a great football player too. Jackson bringing it down for Turner, looking for Val. Good defense by RJ. Val picks it up, trying to drive in. RJ slapped it away. Bryant had it. There's going to be a foul called on Val. That'll be his first. Number one only has one speed for Turner, and that is wide open, folks. He hustles up and down the court, Val does. Brian at the free throw line now. We got a little over 1,800 people watching Creek Box tonight. We appreciate everybody tuning in. First shot up and in for Brian. 42 seconds to play in the first. Second shot on the way. Off the rim, won't go. Number 20 with the rebound for Turner. I don't have that young man's name. MJ, give me number 20's name. Panthers have it. RJ will bring it in. 31 seconds to play in the first. Bryant, oh, trying to get it to Mingo. Bell got it. Pulled up with the three, won't go. 20 with the rebound. Here come the Titans. Val has it. He'll dribble through two of them all the way to the basket, won't go. Puts it back up and in. Good shot by Val. 26 to 10. Six seconds. Four seconds. Oh, Val with the, almost with the steal. RJ trying to get it. Bryant throws it up at the buzzer. So after one quarter, clinch 26, Turner 10. We'll be back in just a second. And then a Lockheed Walker Jones. At Walker Jones, new 2024 Chevy truck are arriving daily. And the 23s must go. Like this beautiful iridescent white pearl tri-coat Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. Price to move. At Walker Jones is the home of the lifetime warranty at no extra cost to you. Chevy, find new roads. Walker Jones Chevrolet. Memorial Drive in Waycross. And online at walkerjoneschevy.com. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. Don't forget your little ones this holiday season at our newest store, The Little Averett, offering a large selection of children's clothing, toys, paper goods, and baby registries with brands such as Proper Peony, Beaufort Bonnet, Feltman Brothers, Noodle and Boo, and Mary Mary. Mary Averett and The Little Averett are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. with limited shopping hours Wednesday and Saturday from 10 All right, here we go. Panthers with the ball. Johnson had it. He'll give it to Bell. Bell trying to get it to Raymond down low. Good hustle over there by number 15 to Neal for Turner. King, I appreciate that, brother. Number 20 is what MJ says his name is King. Basket by the Panthers. Who was it? 29 to 10.
That was a three, wasn't it? Well, I'm going to guess it was RJ. Because he's been hitting them. He's been on fire. <laughs> Bell with the ball. He almost put up a three. Got it back, Domingo. Over to Johnson. Back, Domingo. Back to Johnson. Mingo pulled the trigger off the back of the rim. Val with the rebound for Turner. He dribbling one on three, lays it up, and it won't get the roll. King up, it won't go. 12, and that's going to be on Mingo. Mingo with a foul. He got Grant, so Grant will go to the free throw line. First free throw on the way, no good. Second shot on the way for Grant. 29 to 10, Panthers lead. 7.03 in the first half left, just starting the second quarter. Miller with the rebound for the Panthers. King couldn't get it. Or Grant, excuse me. RJ will give it to Johnson. Johnson trying to dribble. He does a round two. Good pass out to RJ. RJ almost. He will pull the trigger. Oh, in and out. Grant with the rebound. Raymond almost with the steal. Here comes Val bringing it down for the Titans. Got it over to King. Boom! Good shot. No, to Neal, excuse me, number 15. With a big three for Turner. Johnson driving in. Knocked out of bounds. Good defense there by King, number 20. Terry in the game now for Turner, number two. Val will bring it down. Over to Lawson. Back to King. Now back to Terry. There's a shot by Terry and got it. Good shot. 29-15. Turner jumps in a little trap. Defense here at half court. There's a steal by the Titans. He'll pull up just inside the three. Can't get it to go. Oh, man. Terry had the rebound, was trying to put it back up. Good job by the Panthers to knock it out. Miller will take a break. Bell back in the game for the Panthers. Titans get it in to Terry. Hillman back out, and he's back in the game with two fouls. 14, little jumper, can't go. 20 had it, that King had it and lost it. Here come the Panthers. Raymond back to Bryant. Oh, they found RJ in the middle. He'll dump it back out to Johnson, over to Bell. Bell pulls up, 12 footer won't go. Rebound in there by King. Raymond with the steal for the Panthers and dribbled it on the line. Turner has it. They got to get it across to half court. Hillman with the ball. Good job by Johnson almost with the steal. Val getting ready to check back in, and here he is. He got him a little break. King will take a break now. Val with the ball for the Titans. Trying to get it down to number two, that was Terry. It was Bell with the three, okay. All right, I'm gonna take that in from RJ then. <laughs> he ain't gonna like that, is he? I appreciate that. 
Bell with two threes in the first then. Here come the Titans. Number 14 with the long three off the back of the rim. Johnson with the rebound, got it to Bell, and he traveled. What happened, Tommy got the ball, there was somebody right in front of him. Thank you, Miss Taylor. Keeping us up to date. Number 10, Hillman will come out and take a break. Val will bring it in for the Titans. He got it to 14, one dribble up. Bell slapped at it, good job by King for the basket. 29-17. Johnson back over to Bryant. Oh, trying to get it to Raymond. Good steal by King. Here come the Titans. He'll pull up. Oh, let's see, we got a foul. Twenty-three. That's going to be on Raymond. That'll be his second. Coach Terrence wasting no time. He'll get Raymond out of the game, I'm sure. King at the free throw line. Shooting two. First one on the way. Can't go. Won't go. Miller and Mingo back in the game. Raymond will take a break. Second shot on the way for King. Off the back of the rim. We got a foul on number four, that's Bryant. That'll be his first. Number 15, Burns in the game now for the Panthers. Mingo will take a break. 4.04 to play in the first half. Bow, get it into King. King back out to Terry. Terry's gonna drive in, lays it up, won't go. Bell with the rebound. He'll get it out to RJ. RJ crossover out to Bryant. Bryant, oh man, he good pass. He was trying to get Burns in the back door. Went through his hands. Martin will bring it in for the Titans. Val will pick it up. Val, he'll pass it off to King. Jumper wrapped around the rim. Man, Turner just can't get it to go. They're playing pretty good defense on this end, but can't score no offensive points. Bryant with a missed three. King with the rebound, here come the Titans. He'll lose it. Oh, we're going to have a foul, and that's going to be on Bryant. That'll be number two. Let's see what Coach Terrence is going to do with that. Not in the bonus yet. It's close. Val will bring it in for the Titans. Look, and he'll get it out to number five. That's Dulcie. Over to King, King with the three, won't go. Dossie with the rebound up and it still won't go. We got a foul this time. On number two, that's Terry, that'll be his first. Posley in the game now. Posley will bring it in, knocked out of bounds by King. And they go, they bring it in. Here comes RJ, back down on this end. Oh, foul will knock it away. King with the ball, good pass, number 11, and it still won't go. Martin couldn't get it. Look out, here comes Bell. RJ, he'll throw it up and one. Good shot by RJ. It's gonna be on number one, Val, that'll be his second.
RJ first shot, got it. He made it a three point play. Val bringing it down. 32 17 now. Panthers on top, 235 to play in the first half. Turner still can't get it to go. Finally, finally, Martin with the basket. Man, they were on about a 0 for 12 run there. RJ, he'll pull it. No, he'll change his mind, throw it up, can't get it. Burns, good job by Burns. He was going out of bounds and he bounced it off Dawsey and Panthers will keep possession. Tennille back in the game for Turner. Martin will take a break. RJ will get it to Bell, three. Oh, wrapped around, good job by Miller. Put it back up and in. 34-19, Panthers on top. Bow with the ball. Coach off is hollering, he'll call into play. Bow pulls up at the free throw line, got it, good shot. 34-21. Bell with the ball. Back to RJ. Over to Posley. Back to Bell. Bell got it back to Posley. RJ with the long three and got it. Another three. 37 21. RJ has been on fire, good pass by Val, back to Terry, and Terry will lay it in. 37-23. RJ, oh, Posley wasn't looking, Val has it. He'll give it back to Terry, no basket, they said he traveled, man. RJ with the ball. Back to Posley. Posley trying to get it down. Good save by Burns. Couldn't save it though. Out of bounds. I don't know. All right, here we go. 51 seconds to play. 37-23, Panthers on top. Oh, he was trying to get it down low. Who was that fell on it? That was Burns, wrapped it up. They caught a jump ball, so Turner will have it. 40 seconds to play here in the first half. Jackson will bring it in to Val. Val throws up a three, got a piece of it. Posley did. Saved it, number four, good pass. Oh, and Posley and Bell got a piece of that one. Knocked it out of bounds. Martin was trying to go up with it. Val will bring it in now for the Titans. Got it to number five. Oh, he got it. Oh, good job by number 10, Miller with the slap. Oh, we got a jump ball. Good job, number four. That was Jackson tied up Bell. Panthers will keep possession. Number 14, Lawson, I guess, is in the game. We're going to find out. Daniel's going to take a picture of the book here at halftime. We'll get the right ones in. We got a foul. That's gonna be on number 14. It's his first. Burns at the free throw line, first one, he'll miss. 21 seconds to play.
Second one on the way, couldn't get it. Oh, Miller almost had it. Here come the Titans now. Terry with the ball, he'll give it up to Val. Over to Lawson, drives in there and Bell slapped it in the bleachers. Boy, that was almost nasty. Bell come down awkward, but he jumps right back up. Burns was up under his feet. And Bell come down on top of him. Called a foul, Lawson at the free throw line. First shot, up and in, good shot. Three points tonight for Lawson. Terry will come out. Second shot on the way. Got them both, good job. 12 seconds. Turner trying to end on a high note. Bale with the ball. Back out to RJ. RJ will get around him. Eight seconds. Back to Bale. Bale pulls up over to Posley. Back to Bale. Clock running. Bale throws it up. Almost got it off the backboard and in. That's going to make it 37 to 25 at the half. The Panthers lead. We're going to take a 30 second break and re be right back with Coach Chase. At Richards in Homerville, Georgia, you'll find the best meats and seafood anywhere around. For all your holiday needs, parties, and special events, we provide catering that will make the occasion one your guests will never forget. Whether it's a wedding, company party, political event, or convention from Savannah to Atlanta and parts beyond, call Gregory to schedule Richards Catering Service or to purchase their famous barbecue sauce today. 912 487-5822. Okay. All right, everybody. Welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Henley. I got my buddy, the head ball coach of the girls, Coach Chase Daniels. Congratulations. I won't call it the biggest win, but really it is this year. We clinched the sub-region championship. Man, another sub-region title. How many does that make now? Oh, I'm, I don't even know. We've done it a while. <laughs> but, man, the most important thing now, you don't have to leave the locker room here, man. You Here at the own, in Clinch County, not only for the girls, but for the boys, man. Uh, good night, but i tell you what. Turner played us a lot tougher tonight than they did. We beat them 73 to 53 in Ashburn. And tonight, you know, we got the 12 point win, 62 to 50, but they made it interesting down the stretch. They did, uh, they came, they played hard, you know. Um, we, I don't know, we started decent and then it was just kind of lackluster. I don't know. Um, Playing in a gym that's not packed, you know, that's after right, playing in right. the after playing in such an electric atmosphere over in Pearson, and um, you know, I don't know. I think they just kind of, I think they're just ready for the region tournament. That's right, man. You're coming off a big win over there in Pearson like that, you know, you always, you know, you've coached football and all that. A lot of times you play down to you, yeah, to, to to who you're playing. But uh, man. Dean stepped it up again tonight for you. I got her at 21 points. Magby, nine points. She played good down the stretch, especially in the fourth quarter mm -hmm. with the big three. Uh, you had Talbert with six. Uh, Stevens had four. Dorsey had 15. She had 11 at the half. In the first quarter, Dorsey had nine points in the first quarter with a three-pointer uh, and uh, ended up with 15 points. Wow. But, We've uh, been encouraging her to keep taking the three. You know, that's something a little different for her this year. Um, but, we, you know, she's got a really good shot on her, and it's just that you don't see many centers taking three-pointers. But, you know, I told her, hey, they do it in the WNBA and the NBA. So, that's you know, right. That's I mean, right. If you've got a good shot on you, now we don't want her coming out of the post too much, you know, but if she finds herself, um, in, you know, in position to take an open three, we, we, we encourage her to pull them. 
Well, now we, we, we got the subregion, so no matter what happens from here on out, we go to Cook County That's right. Friday. Friday. Mm -hmm. Now, they beat us earlier in the year. Did they beat us? Or did we? No, we beat them no, here, yeah. I think. Yeah, we beat close them. Close game. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you don't want to wear your legs out. You got a region game, but you got games to give now because you, you get no matter what happens. I mean, yeah, and Friday night will be good to get Asia, you know, and Janela back with us and, and get them involved and um, sort of get their legs back under them before the big game Saturday. That's right, man. And it, you know it's going to be a packed house here Saturday. It always is when the Bulldogs come to town. Mm -hmm. But now, what does this do for us by being the sub-region champions? What does that mean come to region playoffs? When will we play again? So, okay, we get a bye until the semifinal, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. You won't play till Friday. That's right. We'll play the semifinal game, and, and that'll be the opponent will yet to be determined to have to play, play the preliminary rounds or whatever, you know, the early rounds. I think Tuesday. They'll play here Tuesday. No, no. They'll go to the higher seed of the teams that are playing. I got you. So, you know, if a number three plays number six, then they'll play at – the number three place and I then four you. plays five they'll play at the number four place so the games won't start here until friday right i got you so it'll be the so final we'll, four we'll, we'll host the boys and girls semi-final and the boys and girls final i got you for I the region you. tournament i got you and then those games friday and saturday will determine so we're automatically in the state playoffs that's right um and those two games uh friday and saturday will determine one through four with the region champion being number one and then the runner-up in the region championship game being number two. And then the winner of the uh, – uh, there's a, there'll be a consolation game that will have you three and four. Um, For Saturday. Right. So there'll be four games here Friday and two games – or four games Saturday because there'll be a girls consolation game and right. boys. Right. And, and that will determine – one through four going into the state playoffs. Well, what what is the re – I know we're number one. I guess Atkinson will be number, number two. two. Who will be number three? Well, I think that kind of depends. You know, if um, if Lanier beats us Saturday, then, you know, that may catapult them into a different position. Um, you know, I really don't know. Mm -hmm. um, th well, those early games, see, will determine – who plays in the semifinal game? That's right. That's right. So you may be number, you may be number three after the regular season going into the tournament, but then you may lose Tuesday and not be the three seed. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it's just a lot to be determined. That'll start on Tuesday. But now with Axon being number two, they'll be on the other side of the bracket. We uh, wouldn't see them unless we make it to the championship. If I'm right, is that right? That's right. And um. Well, no, see, because Atkinson's number two right now. That's right. But they still have to play in the tournament as well. That's right. So they may not end up – if they lose in the semifinal, they won't play for region championship just like us. That's right. I mean, we could go into this thing and lose Friday in the semifinal and not play in the region championship. Yeah, but if, if, if y'all were to win out and Atkinson wins out, you wouldn't play Atkinson until the championship for the region title. Oh, region. I thought yeah. you were talking about state. No, no, region. I'm, I'm talking about for the region. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's right. they'll be on the other side. That, that's right. And they'll get a bye as well. I got you. Yeah, they I don't play you. till Friday night as well. I tell you what, man, they're playing some good basketball over there in Axon, but, man, I was proud of our girls, the way we hunkered down and, and fought back. Man, that, that's just a big win. It I was. know the girls were excited, the crowd. I was one of the loudest, just like it was in Lanier. I mean, it was a great game, great atmosphere. Now, look, I meant to, I, I meant to give a shout-out to Miss Madeline Gore over there in Pearson when I was coming up to talk to you. She <laughs> said, you better let them know about the fans now. <laughs> hey, and, and, hey, and she's absolutely right. And I meant to mention it the other night, and I want to give her a shout-out now. Um, and not just her, but all of them. Man, all the fans that went, they packed that place out, and it was awesome. That in, in man, it was. It was just like a, a Final Four, in, like at VSU. I mean, that, that's what it reminded me of. Uh, we had 2,500 people watching mm. in Atkinson County, and there was nowhere to sit. So, uh, man, and the crowd has picked up a little bit here. We got the end. We got rec ball going on, middle school baseball. We're going to do a middle school game Thursday. I think they have one at home at the rec park. Me and Daniel's going to. 
try to ease out there and get that underway. So, uh, okay. man, you're doing a great job. Everybody healthy? Yeah. Yeah, everybody. Well, you know, no serious injuries. We're battling a little bit of sickness, and that's a little bit of why we look sluggish, you know. Well, it's that time of year, brother. It is. It is. <laughs> the virus will cause you to go from first to fourth in just a day. <laughs> yeah, and Coach Dickerson reminded me today out there, you know, this is the time of year where, you know, practicing just to practice for two hours just ain't you know that's necessary right. that's right if you that's can get it. it if you can get it done an hour and 15 hour and a half get them out i yeah. ain't lying that's the jim dickerson law <laughs> 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 well brother we love you you're doing a great job man and we'll see you friday night in adel baby all right we love y'all too yeah. Pre appreciate y'all yeah man all right folks we'll be back in 60 seconds need a break need some quality family time get over to camping world of valoster right now Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Valosta. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Valosta can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day. Commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912 470-2359 to learn more. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. We are live here in Homerville. My buddy Munoz is running the camera. Foul with the ball. 37-25, Panthers on top. Both coaches had a chance to coach them up. See what they got. Here comes Bale. He'll slow it up. Drives off the backboard, up and in. That's, that is, and it will be in Fort Valley. Man, I don't know why that would, had a good thing going at BSU. <laughs> Bell with 11 points, or 12, make it. He'll miss the three point, got his own rebound, up and in again, 14 points now. Panthers with another basket. Let's see him. We're going to call timeout just like that. It's 43 to 25. They can't bring it in. We'll stay right here. I can give a shout out to our sponsors. Valentine's Day right around the corner. Homerville Jewelers. Go see Kathy. She can hook you up. Clinch Memorial Hospital Community Paramedicine Program. Dre's Snack Shack. Homerville Fargo Feed and Seed. Clinch Memorial Pharmacy. Clayton Homes of Waycross. Clinch Memorial Family Practice, Pete's Inn of Waycross, Big K and Lee Engineering and DuPont, Savage Turner Law Firm, Camping World of Alasta, Napa Auto in Homerville, Big Daddy's on Highway 84, Walker Jones of Waycross, Burke CPA, Lutz Brown Insurance, 
more farms right here in Maynard, Georgia. Huey's One Stop, Douglas Meadow, Richard's Meat and Seafood and Famous Barbecue Sauce, the Averett House, the Little Averett, the Mary Averett, and Clinch Memorial Hospital. We appreciate all of them being our sponsors. If anybody would love to become one, you let me and Daniel know. We can hook you up and add you to the Creek Box family. RJ with the ball. Johnson has it now. Got it down low to Raymond. Raymond will kick it back out. The bail pulls up. Three-pointer off the rim. Rebound Titans. Perry with the rebound. Perry, oh, trying to get it down low, does. He can't get it. 12 and he'll miss it. We got a foul. Let's see who this one's on. Number two, that's Johnson. That'll be his third. Coach Terrence won't waste no time. Mingo will come in the game. Perry's first shot up and in. Good shot. Perry with five points tonight. Second free throw on the way. Got that one, good shot also. Here come the Panthers, RJ with the ball. Back out the bell. Mingo with a three off the front of the rim. Got his own rebound, drives in, can't get it to go. Bow with the rebound, here come the Titans. They'll get it to Perry. Perry, turnaround jumper, won't go. Rebound in there, 14. Out with Lawson, can't get it. Another missed shot. Mingo with the rebound, and here come the Panthers. Bryant will slow it down now. Over to RJ, back to Bryant. Bale with it. Trying to get it down low to Raymond. Be tipped away. Val with the ball for the Titans. Long three, number 11, won't go. 12 with the rebound up and in. Good shot there by Grant. With six points tonight for the Titans. RJ with the ball, Bryant with the three. Off the rim, won't go. We got a tick. Let's see what we got here. I don't know if they had a tick on somebody. Long arm of the law. Coach Little Winston over there. I don't know if it was from a fan. I think the referee thought it was one of the coaches. And Coach Office let him know right quick like it wasn't from his staff. So let's see what's going on. They did. They did away with the tech. I think it's a fan. So we're getting ready. All right, here we go. Titans have the ball. Nope, now the Panthers have the ball. We'll get it figured out here in a second. RJ with the ball. Over to Bryant, back to Mingo. RJ got it down to Bell. Bell driving in, tripped up, turn around, jumper, partially blocked. Got it back to him. Bell turn around. He got that one. Let's see. And one, I think they're going to call it on number 14, Lawson. That'll be his second. Bell with the basket and got a chance to add another one. Got it, good shot by Bell. 46-31, Panthers right back in that defense. 
Oh, they're going to call a foul. Bryant tried to put the brakes on and couldn't. That'll be his third. Bell with 19 points tonight for the Panthers. Number 11, long three and got it. Good shot by Martin. Seven points tonight for Martin. They get it to Raymond. Raymond over to Bryant. Back to RJ. Bryant with it now. Got it in to Mingo. Mingo trying to get it to Raymond. Good steal by the Titans, and that's going to be called on Mingo. That'll be his second foul. Titans have it. Oh, number two, let's see. Nope, no basket. They're going to call that on Perry. That'll be his second. Man. Here come the Panthers now. Bryant, I'll lay it over to Raymond. Raymond drives in, can't get it to go. Oh man, Burns had it, lost it. Here come the Titans. Panthers touch it, nope. They said the Panthers have it. Titans lost it out of bounds. Dulce will come back in the game for the Titans. Martin will take a break. Bell with the ball. We get it all the way across back to Bryant. RJ dribbling around. Drives to the basket, lays it up, won't go. He'll draw a foul on number one. That's Val. That'll be his third. Aunt Dina says, I love you, Bill. First shot up there by RJ, got it. RJ with 10 points. Second shot on the way, got them both. Good job by RJ. Panther right back into a press. Long pass, got it over, got it to Val wide open. He'll lay it up and in. Eight points for Val tonight. 48-36, Panthers up by 12. Halfway through the third. RJ, good pass to Raymond, back to RJ. Oh, Bryant lost it, look out, Grant has it. He's gonna, no, not Grant, that was King. Or Lawson, excuse me, he lost it. Here come the Panthers. He'll lay it up, won't go. Bell with the rebound. He'll turn up and got it. Good shot by Bell. 50-36 now. Bow with the ball for the Titans. He'll get it over to Lawson. Dawsey with the ball now. Good move by Dawsey into the basket. Great job. 50-38. Bryant with the ball. Over to RJ. He'll throw up another three. Off the rim. Got his own rebound. 12-footer off the rim again. Bell. No, Raymond had it. Lost it. Bryant will lay it up and in. Seven for Bryant tonight. Oh, Val will sit down. I think he twisted his ankle. So what we'll do, we'll take a break and we'll be back in just a second. As part of our commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance, 
Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912-470-2359 to learn more. All right, everybody. Welcome back to Creek Box TV. Coach Terrence talking to the referee, wondering if they used a timeout. I don't think they did, brother. Martin will bring it in for the Titans. Got it in to number two, off the backboard. Good shot by Perry. 52 to 40. Bell with the ball. He'll get it across to half court. Good bounce pass down low to Miller. Miller trying to get it. He'll draw a foul. Let's see what's on. I think it's on Perry. It is number two. That'll be his third. Mr. Johnson saying all you guys are special. We appreciate you tuning in, Miss Johnson. She don't miss a game on Creek Box. Miller at the free throw line for the Panthers. Got it. Good job by Miller. 54 to 40 now. Turner needing a basket to stay close. Martin with the ball. Trying to drive, lost it. Went out of bounds off his leg. Turner has it. Trying to get it in, they do. Right back to RJ. RJ over to Bryant. Bryant going to drive, kicks it out to R.J., a long three, boom, got it, R.J. with another one. Boy, he's been on fire. 57 to 40. Lawson with the ball. He'll give it up. Number 11, good bounce pass back. Go, can't get it to go, man. That was Grant. Good bounce pass from Boom! There it is. Bryant missed it, but Bell cleaned it up. I mean, he cleaned it up. Oh, he tried to save it. Dawsey did. He'll lose it out of bounds. 59 to 40. Another two-hand dunk by Bell. One oh seven to play in the third. To Neal back in the game for Turner or for Turner. RJ saying I need some help. He does. He got it. They give it right back to RJ. Under a minute now here in the third. They get it to Miller. Miller driving. Can't get it. He was too far under the basket. We're gonna have a foul on Raymond. That'll be foul number three. Flight 13 from Aunt Dina. He is flying. He flies every night, darling. 59 to 40. Oh, he's trying to pass. I don't know. Jump ball. RJ stuck his hand up and got a piece of the ball. Here come the Panthers now. RJ bringing it down. Over to Bell. Back to RJ. Raymond and get it down to Miller. Miller turn around. Won't get the roll. Rebound in there by Hillman. Here comes Turner. Bow with the three-pointer. Off the rim won't go. 
Burns, oh, they're gonna call travel, and he got the ball. Good hustle by Burns. Val will bring it in for Turner. Good job by Burns, knocked it out of bounds again. 18 seconds to play in the third. Panthers up by 19, 59 to 40. They get it in, the five, that's gonna be a foul. On number 10, that's Miller, that'll be his first. So that will put Dolce at the free throw line. Bale with 23 points tonight for the Panthers. Still 15 seconds to play in the third. In and out, won't go. Man, number 11 took it, and we'll have another foul. Martin with the rebound, went back up, and another foul on Miller. Back-to-back -back fouls. Martin back at the free throw line. First one off the rim. Turner just has not been able to make the shots tonight. They've been in position, just can't get it to go in. Lawson back in the game for Turner. Oh, and that's going to be a lane violation on Burns. He'll get one more shot. He got that one, good shot there by Martin. Eight points tonight for him. 12 seconds to play. Been a long third quarter. Raymond with the ball, back to Bell. Six seconds, four seconds. Miller lost it, that's gonna be kicked out. That's gonna do it. So after three quarters, it's the Panthers, 59, Titan, 42. We'll be back in 60 seconds. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings. All right, folks, eight minutes away from the Panthers winning a Region 2 game. If they can hang on, there's another foul on Miller. And that's three in the last 60 seconds. Atkinson beat the number one seed Charlton tonight. From Jamerion, Zaylin Jamerion. 
There's a good free throw in there by Perry. Perry with nine points tonight. Second free throw on the way. Can't get it to go. Miller with the rebound. He'll give it to Bryant. Long pass. Good job. Miller had it off the backboard. It won't go. Titans have it. Lawson with the ball. All the way over to Val. Long three by Val off the backboard. Got it. 11 points for Val now. 59-46. Johnson with the ball. Good bounce pass to RJ. RJ to Miller under the goal. Can't get it. That's going to be on Val. That'll be his fourth. They can't afford to lose him. Yep, number one. That's his fourth. 718 to play in the game. Miller at the free throw line. First free throw, off, free throw off the back of the rim. Got around 2,000 people tuned in tonight on Creek Box. We appreciate everybody tuning in. Second shot off the back of the rim. A rebound in there by Tanil, number 15. Here come the Titans. Good job there. Hillman to the basket and got it. 59-48. Turner in that defense. Panthers got to get it across, and they got to now. Timeout by Coach Terrence George. Great timeout by Coach Terrence. Man, that was close. Clint Memorial Hospital asked that I share news about an exciting fundraiser that they've kicked off this week. They're in the process of designing and building a patient healing garden that will allow the occupational and physical therapy and swing bed patients to rehabilitate outdoors. You can support these efforts to expand the occupational and physical therapy services provided by Clint Memorial Hospital by purchasing a brick paver in the garden. That's right, you can have your name or you may purchase a brick in honor or in a memory of a loved one to be permanently placed at Clinton Memorial Hospital. Me and Daniel and Beth are going to donate one in Mr. Barry and Sutton's name and one for Creekbox TV. So y'all just come along for the inf information about it. If you'll call 912-470-2401, they can hook you up. All right, Panthers with the ball, up by 11. Good shot by Bryant. Off the backboard. Nine points tonight for Bryant. Oh, number two, that's gonna be called on Raymond. And that'll be his fourth. What Coach Terrence is gonna do, 6.28 to play. Turner's doing just enough to hang around. Panthers get these little runs, jump out, but Turner comes right back. Good shot there by Perry. 10 points for him tonight. Second one on the way. Oh, won't go. Bell has it. A foul on number 10. Hillman. That'll be his third. Johnson will bring it in for the Panthers. Grant back in the game for Turner. Number 13. Easel back in. Here come the Panthers. Johnson with the ball. He'll dribble in. He'll kick it out. Oh, and they said he was 
Palming the ball. Traveled, so that'll be a turnover. Turner could cut it to a 10-point lead right here. Foul back in the game. He's got to be careful. He's got four fouls. Got it to Martin. Martin will pull up just inside the three short. RJ with the rebound. Up to Bale. Bale coming from one end to the other. Turn around. Couldn't get it to go. Raymond tried to tip it. Knocked out of bounds. Panthers will keep it. Johnson will bring it in for the Panthers. We got a foul over here, surely. Let's see who it's on. Number 11, that's Martin, that'll be his first. Johnson will get it into Bryant. Here come the Panthers. Five. 45 to play in the game. Johnson, long three, wrapped around the rim, wouldn't go. Titans with the rebound, Dulce has it. Long pass to Val, Val, good pass. Oh, he lost it, Val got it back, can't get it to go. Another basket missed by the Titans. Bryant with the ball. They're going to reset it now. Raymond with it. He'll give it back. We got three seconds. That'll be a turnover by the Panthers. They said he camped out in the paint. Here we go. Lawson with the ball. Got it up and in. Good job. Eight points for him tonight. Ten-point game, folks. Don't go anywhere. Turner trying to hang around. Bryant with the ball. Dribbling around. Back to Raymond. Over to... Johnson, Johnson drives in, off the backboard, got it. What a move by Johnson. Five points for Johnson, there's a steal by Bell. RJ with the ball. RJ got the foul, no, they're gonna call it on RJ. That'll be his first. 63-51 now. 425 to play. Lawson can't get it to go. Bale with the rebound. Bale's gonna have a oh no, that's on 11, I think. Yep. For a minute I thought it was on Val. That'll be on Martin. That's his second. Good job, Bale off the backboard, couldn't get it to go. It went in and come out. Lawson with the ball, give it to Val. Long three won't go, RJ with the rebound. He got three of them on him, got rid of it. Got it to Bale, spin move. Behind your back. Got it to Johnson, back to Bryant. Good ball dribbling there by Bale. Johnson with the three, overshot it. He got a cramp, I think RJ does. He's trying to get up, he does. There's a three by Val, won't go, out of bounds. You can see RJ's leg cramping up. Mingo will come in the game for RJ. Here come the Panthers, 63-51. Got 
Got it to Raymond. We got a foul away from the ball on number 14. That's Lawson, that'll be his third. 316 to play in the game. Bryant at the free throw line. He'll miss the first one. No! Number 15 in the game, that is Tennille for Turner. Bryant second shot on the way. Won't get it to go, Bale, let's see who's got it. They said Bale slapped it out, so Turner will have it. Bale with the ball all the way. Oh, and there's another miss. Lawson up and in, this time it went. Good job by Lawson. We're going to have a timeout called by Turner. We'll take one, too. We'll be back in just a second. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu, including our famous grilled burgers, artisan-style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. All right, we're back. Ten point ball game, we got a foul. Lawson, that's gonna be his fourth. He got to be careful now. They're in the bonus, so that'll put Bryant at the free throw line. 3.04 to play. Bryant with nine points tonight for the Panthers. First shot on the way, won't go. Second shot on the way for Bryant. Got that one, good job. Oh, the referee got down. Foul checks on him, he's all right. 15 got it up, overshot it. Mingo with the rebound. Knocked out of bounds, Panthers will keep it. Foul checked on him. He'll take a break. I think the referees are coming to check on him. That happens all the time, especially in football. Here we go, Panthers have it. Bryant with the ball, back to Johnson. They got him trapped, Bryant, you gotta get across to half court, you're gonna have a foul. That's gonna be on number five, Dawson, and that'll be his first.
2.43 to play. Right, first shot up and in. 11 points for him tonight. RJ coming back in. Mingo will take a break. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Trying second shot, got them both. Good job. Bow with the ball for Turner. Clock running. He got it out. Long shot by number 11 won't go. That was Martin. Got a foul. Number one, that's Val, and that'll be number five. He'll have to go out. Young man played hard. He'll end up with 11 points for Turner tonight. RJ at the free throw line for the Panthers. RJ with 14 points tonight for the Panthers. Make that 15 now. Second free throw on the way, got them both. Good job by RJ. Here comes Turner, number 11, throws it up. He'll draw a foul, that's gonna be on RJ. That'll be his second. 2.27 to play. Martin at the free throw line. First shot, got it. Good job by Martin. Sixty-eight, fifty-four. Second one on the way. Got them both. No basket. They're going to call a foul on Perry, number two, and that'll be. Five, no, four on him. And that puts Bell back at the free throw line with 2.27 to play. It's a foul contest now, folks. Last man standing. Chad Williford said prediction for Saturday night game. I predict there's going to be a sold-out crowd and it's going to be a good game. Bulldogs coming to Homerville. Bell will miss it. Turner throws one up. Number five, he'll miss it. Rebound number 10. We got another foul, folks. Number one, that'll be RJ. It'll be foul number three on RJ. Hillman at the line. First free throw on the way, won't go. Second shot on the way, got that one. Good job there by Hillman. 
Bryant bringing it down. Trying to run some clock. Bell with the ball. They get it to Raymond in the paint. Turn around, be knocked away. Bryant saves it. Back out to Bell. Oh, another foul, man. Number two, Perry, that'll be five fouls. He is done. Bryant at the free throw line. Two minutes to play. For 43 seconds to run. Got him. Job by Bryant. 71-56. Number 11 drives in and won't go. Rebound. Puts it back up and another whistle. They get paid by the whistle tonight. Raymond, that'll be five on Raymond. He'll be gone, I think. Raymond pointing at the board, he got five fouls. Apparently he has four then. First shot up and in. Good job by Dalsey. Back of the rim. Raymond with the rebound. Out door RJ. RJ will get it across. Goes all the way in. Throws it up and in. Don't see with the ball. We got a timeout. We'll take a break. We'll be back in just a second. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. All right, Coach Terrence has put some of the young ones in now. We got Posley, Causey, Malik, Burns, Mingo. Mingo on him. He's going to turn around and jump. Won't go. That'll be on Mingo, and that's going to be foul number three. Number 45 at the free throw line. I don't have a 45. He'll miss the first one. Second shot, he'll miss that one. Causey with the rebound. Here come the Panthers. Posley bringing it down. Posley out to Mingo. Got five freshmen on the court right now, folks, I'm pretty sure. Posley back to Malik. Back to Posley. Posley going to drive in and blocked by number 23. That was Hightower. Here come the Titans. Under a minute now. Get it to 24. 
22 with a long three off the back of the rim. Won't go. Rebound in there. Burns. Here come the Panthers. Posley to Malik. Malik will throw up a three off the rim. Got it. Tries it again. Oh, in and out. Won't stay. Causey had it. Panthers will keep it. I want to remind everybody, me and Daniel will be back Thursday at 4 o'clock at the Rec Park doing middle school baseball. Posley with the ball over to Malik. Malik with another three off the edge of the rim. Calls the up and in with the basket. 75-57. Twelve seconds, clock is running. Eight seconds, six seconds, four seconds. That's going to do it, folks. They're going to run it out. Panthers will win 75 to 57. So we'll see you again next Friday, or this coming Friday, when Clint County travels to Cook County but we got a baseball game before then. Before we get out of here, I got to thank our sponsors, Homerville Jewelers, the Averett House, the Little Averett, the Mary Averett, Richard's Meat, Seafood, and Famous Barbecue Sauce. Dre Snack Shack, Clint Memorial Hospital, Community Paramedicine Program, Huey's One Stop, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, Homerville Fargo, Homerville Fargo Feed and Seed, Clayton Homes of Waycross, Clint.